Hello everyone, very good day. So now in this video, that's going to last for like 5 to 10 minutes, I will be covering some of the top features that AD Audit Plus as an application has incorporated in the year 2017. I'm not picking up all the features, but the key features of AD Audit Plus here. Alright, so having said that, let's get started. So top features of 2017 starting from the top-down approach would be the first feature that I would like to share with you is something related to the features that are integrated in the build 5050 and that was released in the month of October. Now there are four key features that were uh, included in this build. I'm going to start with some uh, the primary feature which is going to be Azure AD auditing, user attendance new report, LDAP authentication auditing and workgroup service. I'm going to show you how exactly uh, you can make use of all these um, in the application. All right, so when I say Azure AD auditing, so if you just go to the reporting section and then you search the reports, say Azure AD auditing. So the first thing that you'll have to do is probably uh, configure a tenant, your Azure tenant here. You just go to add tenant and then uh, key in your details, audit via Azure or audit via Office 365. So you have two options. You can pick the one that suits your requirement. And once you have configured everything, you are all set to actually get reports from uh, AD Audit Plus that are related to Azure. So you have a set of reports that will be very handy. Uh, so all you need to do is just configure your tenant and when the configuration is right, uh, you can very well generate the report and get to know what's happening in your Azure infrastructure. All right, so that will be something that I wanted to share with you. So if you haven't upgraded the build to 5050, please uh, do that so that you can make use of this feature. And the next one is most of the administrators wanted to track the activity of their users. For instance, something like user attendance, they would want to know when was the first in time of the user and when was the last out time, based on which they'll be able to calculate the activity of the user account. For which we have the user attendance report here. Again, I'm going to do a quick search. The reason why I'm doing a search is to let you know that you can very well make use of all this uh, just by the search. If you do not know where the exact report is, just use a keyword and this powerful search engine will give you the report that you're looking for. Here you go. So if you track a specific user and you'd like to know the user's attendance, this is how you find it. And you have when, where, first and last out, active hours and also the details of that specific user if you'd like to explore more. Alright, so that's user attendance report that gives you the first in and the last out. So this basically calculates the activity of the user in a given day. Uh, keeping into mind or keeping in consideration the business hours. All right. LDAP authentication auditing. So LDAP is something very important uh, from a security standpoint uh, for various reasons here. And that's why we audit LDAP authentications specifically and give it to you in the form of reports here. So if you just search LDAP and then you have LDAP authentications getting listed here. So you can again go back in time and then look for historical data here using this application. All you need to do is just choose the right time period and there you have the details. So it gives you the username, the domain in which the user belongs to, when did the user log in and which DC and what is the client IP address and also the port number. So using which you would know that a specific user has tried authenticating against your DCs uh, and that is specifically the LDAP authentications and you have a chart that could explain things to you in a summary all right so that's about LDAP authentications and the last in this release will be auditing workgroup servers this has been a long pending request I must say and now you can very well audit servers that are not part of a domain but part of a work group all right so you just go to reports again make use of the search you do work group and there you go so you would be getting the work group server auditing uh, reports right here so let me change the keyword here okay work group server auditing 
So you can very well go ahead and configure your workgroup servers and then get reports from those servers here. Yeah. So this specific criteria, since I've not configured anything, I don't get any report. But if you have a requirement of knowing what's going on in your servers that are not part of your Active Directory domain, this is where you need to look out the information for. All right. So network policy server auditing in workgroup. And you also have a few other reports related to workgroup, which I would request you to just play around with. So you just search for workgroup and you have a couple of reports here. Again, workgroup has to be a single word. So you just look for reports and then you have users created in workgroup, local log on success and local log off of successful uh, workgroups and also administrative user log on failures in workgroup and also something related to network policies. All right. So please make use of this. Okay. Now I'm just going back to the month of July and the build is going to be 5040. And the first feature that I wanted to discuss you and I'm really happy that again this is again going to be a long pending request because a lot of our uh, customers wanted this auditing EMC is long so if you go back to AD AD audit plus and then probably look for AMC is long you can very well get the reports that you're looking for so you just go to up so, so you you can go to the file audit reports and then you would have a specific category for EMC Islam right here so all you need to do is just go ahead and give the name of the cluster the username and the passwords and then it takes you to the next steps once you have configured the cluster shares that you'd like to audit and once the configuration is right you can very well generate reports from EMC Islam and get to know who where when and what right so the application already supports NetApp, EMC servers, but the newer version or uh, the updated version of EMC would be EMC Islon. So we have a now offered support for EMC Islon as well. So please make use of it just by upgrading a service pack. All right. Now, something related to scripts. So let's say there is an incident in your organization, a security incident. All right. Let's say there are too many logon failures in, in your organization. And uh, let's say we are talking about uh, 10 logon failures in a matter of seconds. That could be a script that is actually trying to intrude into your organization and probably crack the credentials, right? So if that's the kind of thing that's happening in your uh, uh, organization or any abnormal event for that matter, ADR Plus has the capability of alerting you in real time about any such malicious activities. But that's not the be all and end all of things. So what can you do about when it comes to mitigating such attacks? That's when we give you the ability to invoke your own script. So let's say there are 10 successive logon failures within a matter of uh, 10 seconds. So that's kind of abnormal. The application now detects that there are so many logon failures within a specific duration and you can very well specify a script here that will actually execute and probably shut down that account or that uh, server or whatever it is based on your requirement all right so now the alert feature also gives you the capability to mitigate things based on severity and you can very well invoke a partial script for that okay now I need to know when did this computer start, when was this computer shut down and which process shut down my computer, be it a PC, be it a server. So how do I get reports on the startup and shutdown process of my computers? All right. We give you answers for that as well. So if you just go to the reports again and then you search for uh, shut down you have it right here computer startup and shut down so you just can go back in time for any custom period and then if you'd like to find out when was the computer shut down when was it uh, started you just select a computer that you'd like to investigate that can be a domain controller a member server or even a workstation in my case I'm just going to select the domain controllers here and I hit OK now the report gets generated as you can see here I have the name of the computer when did the computer start when was it shut down 
what was the duration between startup and shutdown and what is the shutdown type was it a restart or was it uh, an actual shutdown and what is the process that actually initiated the shutdown process or the restart process so you get complete visibility into uh, your servers with regards to startup and shutdown not only your servers but also your uh, workstations and your DCs okay computer startup and shutdown and then the last feature in this specific build that I wanted to share with you is analyzing logon failures so ADR plus gives already has given you the ability to analyze an account lockout scenario right you need to know from there is the account getting uh, locked out the source of the lockouts so now ADR plus also extends the same capability to log on failures so you will now be able to find out uh, more information related to log on uh, failures here so if you just go to log on failures and you select the time frame here now let's say I have the report for logon failures alright so I have uh, the username the client name the client IP address the DC in which it authenticated and the time of logon failure and the reason was due to a bad username or bad password whether the account is disabled or expired or any other reason and what type of authentication is it is it a Kerberos or any other type of authentication now similar to account lockout you have something called analyzer details if you just go to analyzer details here and then if you'd like to know for example the recent logon activity of uh, the, uh, the logon failure listed user you just go to the recent logon tab and then find out the recent logon activity and also uh, additional details about uh, the logon failures of that specific account which will give you more information All right? so Analyzer details is a new addition to log on failures of AD Audit Plus. All right, and then uh, we have a couple of other releases and new features. I'm just not diving into everything here, I'm just trying to keep it simple. Now, if you have an SIEM solution in place and you want to actually uh, forward the logs of AD Audit Plus to Syslog or any SIEM uh, server that you have, the application can very well help you forward logs as well. So if you just go to um, the admin tab of AD Manager, I mean AD Audit Plus, and then you have something called SIEM integration here. So you can enable the forwarding of AD Audit Plus data as syslog or to splunk all you need to do is just specify the details and hit save the logs of ad audit plus will then be forwarded to the destination that you specify here and you can also very well choose the categories that you'd like to forward it's if you're not interested in forwarding uh, a specific category here you can very well exclude those categories right so category based log forwarding is the new addition of AD Audit Plus. So that's the SIEM integration right here in the admin tab of AD Audit Plus. Okay. And support for LDAP over SSL and report from archives can now be exported to PDF and CSV. All right. So we had a requirement or we had more requirements from administrators. They want to actually uh, search through the archive files, archive audit logs but be able to actually export it to PDF or CSV. Now that is possible. And also auditing of ADLDS, which is Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services. So these are some of the key additions of AD Audit Plus, but one thing that would stand out among the rest is auditing LAPS, which is Local Administrator Password Solution. So that's very important from a security standpoint. So if you just go to the reports and then search for okay search search for labs so you have various reports for uh, let's say labs so you want to know who what when and where of labs you want to know password read operation password read via attribute editor tab or uh, the Active Directory Users and Computers Console of LAPS because LAPS is something that is again pertaining to the passwords of uh, your administrator account. So 
it's very important that you audit your labs files as well and that's exactly what ADR plus helps you to do so now audits labs files as well right so auditing of labs is now supported local administrator password solution and then ADR plus proudly supports ADFS. I, I, I don't think there are many tools out there in the market that actually gives you uh, on-premise auditing feature with uh, cloud auditing features. So extending support to actually uh, something related to cloud ADFS is what ADR Plus is now doing. So if you just go back to ADR Plus and you do a search for uh, Federation or let's say ADFS okay I'm just trying different combinations of the keyword here so ADFS logon failure or anything any activity related to uh, ADFS be it a logon failure or success can be tracked using the application now so all you need to do is just configure the right credentials and you're all set to get the report okay so that's about the features in the build 5020 till 5030 so that was in the month of Jan to March 2017 now I've said enough and I've also shared with you some of the features that we have incorporated in 2017 but we have this habit of sharing knowledge all throughout the year alright so I would recommend you to actually watch out for our free workshops free webinars and also our seminars here and if you're wondering where do you get updated about all this of course we'd be reaching out to you but it would be great if you could just make a note of this site here which is adsolutions.manageengine.com so this is where you need to go to in order to watch out for all our events and also technical workshops and also tech webinars for free so we love sharing knowledge because these applications are really powerful so I hope the features that we have added to the application is of benefit to you and your IT infrastructure. Thank you very much for your time. You all have a nice day.